Okay, in this video we're checking out some new stuff here from Flywoo. This is that new company that I did a review on a uh, flight controller. It was, like, I think, last week, I think, and, um, oh, which, by the way, um, uh, I haven't posted that video yet, but they are going to be giving away two of those flight controllers in uh, another video. Uh, I will post that you can comment on and add all that in that video. Don't do that in this video. There's no giveaway in this video. Um, what I have in this video are two sets of motors here. We have... Um, Let's see, what is this here? A 2207-1750 kV motor. So there's there's two in each box, I believe. And this is these are both 2207s. And then these are both 2306-2450 kV. And so there's going to be two sets here. I'll, I'll open those up and show you here in a second. These are just stickers that come on the bottom of the box. So it was wrapped in plastic wrap. And there's this like, they send over this little uh, battery strap, I think it's a Kevlar battery strap. Anyway, just show you this one really quick, this kind of looks on the short side. Yeah, it's a little on the short side for a battery strap. That middle buckle probably isn't going to be too good for anything, like a, more than a 4S battery, I think. Smaller size, maybe 1300. Yeah, I'm not sure how long this is, but it's a smaller battery strap. I'll put a link in the description for this one too. Um, well, let's go look at the motors here. And by the way, um, I haven't uh, uh, gotten any formal word back from Flywheel regarding a giveaway on these motors. But if you are interested in uh, having them providing a giveaway on the motors that you're about to see here, leave a crap load of comments about that down below that you want would want that. And then I will point that out to them and say, hey, there's a lot of interest. Uh, well, let's make it happen. Maybe they'll do it. So it's kind of up to you guys. We'll see what you guys can come up with. Um, but yeah, let's look at the 2207 1750kV motors first. These are titanium in color. So the other ones are, I think they're gold. So I think the 2306s are gold. So these, these come in a variety of kVs. Um, I think this one here, obviously, at 2207 at 1750kV is going to be for 6S on a 5 inch prop or 4S on a 7 inch prop. And we get, uh, yeah, they look pretty nice. Yeah, so yeah, the, the motors are in here like this in the packaging. And the wires are obviously underneath. And we have, I think, some yeah, screws and prop nut for one motor. Probably the same thing here. Screws and prop nut for the other motor. I think these are all going to be clockwise threaded. Yeah, it looks like they're clockwise threaded. Okay, so... Plenty of motor wire here, pretty long. Let's see how many inches we got. We got almost, yeah, we got about six inches of motor wire here. So there shouldn't be any issues with uh, short motor wires or having to extend them. And for those of you guys who want to know, it's 18 gauge motor wire, not 16 gauge. And we have a little bit of a collar here for where the motor wire comes out so that it's not going to be rubbing against the bell. Uh, looks like we have a, I think it's a 19 by 19 hole pattern, M3 holes, and we got a set screw in the bottom here. And I'm told that the bearings on this are 9mm bearings, I think they're like 9 by 4 So, uh, should be pretty smooth. Let's see here. It's not too bad. I can hear a little bit of noise, but feels okay. Obviously, what it sounds like once once we got electricity probably there is what's really going to matter obviously open bottom design pretty much standard for most modern motors now we have uh, some single stranded copper wire and the air gap is pretty tight it doesn't look like they're curved magnets it looks like they're flat magnets and not super thick i mean it's, the motor doesn't feel that notchy at all so this is the uh, 2207. It's a very reflective titanium color on here. Not sure if it's anodized or what, but it's pretty nice looking. And we can see here 1750 kV. Here's a look at the top, hollow shaft. Interesting pattern for the uh, open top here for the airflow. Not sure how hot it's going to get. So no, uh, no flight demo or anything like that in this one. Just, just an overview video. I'll have to uh, put this on a build at some point soon. So yeah, uh, those will be coming up down the road. So if you're wondering about that, that'll be later. Okay, 
so let's just get a weight measurement here. This is without the prop nut. You know, it's coming at 37.2 grams. Obviously, a lot of extra motor wire, so uh, also uh, I'll go to the link in the description to see what the weight of the motor is uh, as stated by the manufacturer. And yeah, this is just the other box with the other two motors here. Just want to see show you what the packaging looks like. All right, this one here is the uh, 2306 motor, 2450 kV. So this is going to be four, four S and five inch prop. Um, prop uh, you don't want to be doing this on a seven inch prop or six S. Uh, yeah, so here's what it looks like. Got some nice gold motors. And then the shape of the bell is kind of interesting. It does kind of remind me a little bit of the Zing motors, but not quite as curved. Okay, so in this case here, the prop nut matches the color of the bell, also gold, and you got your screws. And I think uh, pretty much everything here is going to be the same, except for it's just a different stator size. We got the same six inches of motor wire, and it is also, it's also 18 gauge motor wire. You got the same collar there, and very nice, um, yeah, it's very reflective surface here. I'm not sure what the NIN stands for. Nine inch nails, 2306, 2450 KV. That's yeah, a really reflective coating of whatever's on here. And you can see me and the camera there. You see the reflection. And it's, you know, you can see it's kind of curved here at the top and almost looks like it's curved on this first part of the bell here and then straight. Now, it's not quite like the Zing motors, that was very curved. So it's a little bit different there, but yeah, it's an interesting design. And same single strand of copper wire in the bottom, flat magnets, pretty interesting air gap, nine millimeter bearing, set screw in the bottom, hollow shaft up top. And yeah, this motor sounds better than the other one. The other one, you can kind of hear it. It's not going to come out in the camera microphone, I don't think. Just sound a little bit better than the other one. I think that this bearing is just maybe slightly better in quality. Let's see what this one sounds like. Could be the KV of the motor that has something to do with it. Well, this one seems it seems okay. So maybe it was just a little here. Yeah, this one sounds a little bit a little bit rough. This one here. Just turning it by hand. But this one, this gold, the gold one here sounds really smooth. It actually makes that nice whirring sound that the other 227s don't make. Let's see here. This is the other one. Let's see what this one is. Yeah, this one's also pretty smooth. So I think I just have that, maybe I just that one motor has a little bit of a rough bearing. It's not terrible, but I could, I could just barely hear a little bit. We'll have to see what the, they, you know, they, we'll, we'll see later down the road when I build it up what, what it sounds like. Alright, so let's see what this weighs. And it's a little bit lighter, 35.4 grams, and I think the other ones are 2207s or 37.2 grams. So the 2306s are just a touch lighter. Yeah, okay, so that's going to do it for this video. Um, just yeah, a little quick overview of these two new motors from Flywoo 2306 and 2207 pretty popular size and KVs uh, obviously 6S and 4S so yeah I'll have um, obviously more videos down the road as I'm pointing out for these into builds uh, but if you guys are interested in having this in a giveaway uh, maybe one or two sets I don't know uh, make up a lot of, make a lot of noise down below if you're uh, if there's a lot of interest out there then I'll point that out to Flywoo and hopefully they'll see that and offer up a set and I'll, if that's the case then I'll have another video so yeah you guys um, make a lot of noise down there and express an interest in having this in a giveaway on the channel uh, and if there's enough interest then I'll make that happen or try and make that happen with uh, fly with the manufacturer anyway guys uh, hope this video was helpful and I'll talk to you guys in the next video